Welcome to Starling. You can launch Starling with a standard laptop equipped with internet connection. Once logged in, you will have access to different functions. First, the search, zoom and home buttons. The legend of the different layers, the list of layers available in your subscription that you can toggle on and off. A measurement tool for surfaces and distances. A bookmark tool to name and save your preferred locations. And last, key figures over your area of interest. The interface is fully customizable. You may open, close and move the buttons or menus at your convenience. First, let's have a look at the base map. The base map is the reference layer. It displays optical satellite images called imagery layer. Digitalized map, gathering features extracted from the optical satellite images. The base map features several classes, bare soil, low vegetation and cropland, forest, oil palm plantations, other plantations, river, settlement and water body. When you open key figures, you can see the percentage of each class on the base map. Now, let's open the layer selection. By selecting the imagery layer, you see the satellite images used to produce this base map. The layers appear in the order displayed on the layer selection menu. By clicking on the three dots here, you may move it up or down, display it or hide it. Let us now play with the swipe function. The vertical bar allows to overlap the digitalized layer and the imagery. Now let us click on the bookmarks. Some areas have been registered for the purpose of this demonstration. If you click on Area 1, for instance, you will be brought to the predefined location number 1. Let's click on the imagery footprint layer to discover which image has been used to compose this base map. If you click on an area, you will see image ID, satellite information, acquisition date and resolution. We now select the historical analysis layer. The legend is automatically updated and now features red polygons for changes that happened between 2015 and 2016. If we focus on the imagery, here you get the 2015 layer on the right and 2016 on the left. Here in Area 2, you can assess changes on your own and compare between the two dates at the level of zoom you want. You can see that the area was forested in 2015 and is now bare soil, low vegetation or cropland. By clicking on the polygon, you get the surfaces and percentages. Let's switch to Monitoring. The Monitoring report is a map displaying the forest cover change. That is when a change happens from the forest class to a non-forest class. In the legend, shades of red polygons display the quarterly changes between 2016 and 2017. The gradation in the colour gives a visual indication of the heading and the speed of the forest degradation. In the Key Figures section, you get the trend of deforestation by quarter in hectares or percentage. Let us go to Area 3. You can see that some areas featuring forests in early 2016 have become bare soil in September 2016. By clicking on a polygon, you get the surface, percentage and date of the change. Last, at any time you can ask support from the Starling team and submit your question here. Starling.